Hey guys, I'm Cal from Kelly T Black Metal Reviews. I've got some absolutely devastating death metal to talk to you about today. The band is Werewolves. They hail from Melbourne here in Australia and the album is What A Time To Be Alive. This actually released Friday the 29th of January. So today technically, but if you're watching this now, actually yesterday, I'm so excited about this album. So just bear with me because I do have a lot to say. First of all, the musicians behind this creation, they are a trio. They are very well experienced musicians. They come from all sorts of bands that we know and love, such as Abra Mellon, The Berserker, Arca Coque, Blood Duster, to name a few. There's so many, too many to mention here, so do check it out. But you can expect some pretty world-class metal here, that's for sure. This album, as an overview for me, just has a massive old-school death metal foundation. Some of the best old-school death metal, that's for sure, that I've heard in a long time. Uh, the black metal inclusions within this album are so, so aggressive. They've kept it very aligned to the putridness of death metal, so it works in so, so well. They've made that balance perfect. There are tech death elements throughout this as well. You'll hear through some of those absolutely manic and disdainful riffs. There is some really cool old school heavy metal uh, elements in here as well, which you will recognize, and I properly love the nostalgia of that. The heaviness of this album just felt like I was trapped behind a steel wall with an inch to breathe. There is literally no more room to move within this album. I feel that they've poured in everything they possibly could. There's just no more room to fit anything else. Production-wise, for me, this is just exemplary. At no point was I thinking that, God, I wish those, you know, those double bass drums were just up that bit higher or, you know, that riff is so nasty and mean, but I just want to hear it a bit louder. They have perfected everything, in my opinion, in this album. This further blew my mind to learn that this was mostly written in a week. That's just mind-blowing, and I think you'll agree when you do listen to this. The whole time I was listening to this album, I was just imagining how amazing this would be live because I reckon the punters and the revelers would just tear the stage apart. It is such adrenaline inducing death metal, that's for sure. Now, these guys released an album only last year in 2020. That was The Dead Are Screaming. I was so late to that party. My friend Jackie from Into the Necrosphere gave me the heads up on that one and I'm glad I did take a listen to that when he told me to do so because it is absolutely livid. If you did like that album, you are in for a ride with this one because these guys have continued the ferocity, but for me, they have amped this up to infinite levels. The songwriting is just so crass, it's putrid, it's mean, it's so indiscriminately hateful. So, you know, you really should be listening to this feeling somewhat offended, but I'm listening to this with a big fuck off smile on my face and just thinking how right these guys have got it. What a Time to Be Alive and the previous album, The Dead Are Screaming, for me just translates life as it has been, particularly in Australia in 2019 and 2020, when we nearly burnt this country to the ground and just the fuck ups of the government and everything all around that. And of course, living in COVID times. So there's a lot of disdain and anger throughout this album and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna dive into a couple of my favorite tracks, but I gotta tell you, I'm still kind of working this out because I'm listening to this album constantly still and each time I listen to each track it moves up the ladder because something else just punches me in the in the face so hard that I didn't recognize the first time this is such a complex composition let me tell you there is a lot going on it's solid solid stuff but I'm going to start with antisocial this track just picked me up and slammed me so hard to the ground just breaking every bone in my body with the ferocity of its musicianship vocally this track just killed me in fact the vocal execution throughout the entire album is massive. Sam just has such a fat, fat guttural and this shrieking, blood-curdling scream that just cuts straight through you, that's for sure. This track is just pure hate, absolute hate for anything and anyone, and that's why it's called Antisocial. They will pay with their own blood. The second track I want to talk to you about, this one mixes up the tempo just skulking loudly at you with such brutishness. It's so brutish. It has such a deadly blackened intro that I absolutely enjoyed. It really mixed things up a little here throughout the album and it was well strategically placed for me toward the end. Actually, it is the end track and uh, it was just such a solid ending to a massive album. This one absolutely crushes with skull pulverizing breakdowns. I absolutely loved hearing those throughout this track and uh, it just blended in so well with the violence of the entire album. The next track I'm gonna dive into is the unfathomably fucked, try and say that 10 times after a few beers, not that I'm drinking yet. 
this was the first track I listened to when I first got this album and I never start at the beginning when I have a first listen. So before I went from start to finish, this was it. This was the one that hooked me in. This is the one that I knew this album was going to be absolutely amazing and it truly didn't let me down. So before I moved on from this, because I had this on repeat, I was just so, so taken by its sheer aggression and it's just a fucking animal. You've got to just have a listen to this, even if it's the first one you do listen to. It is a drive fast track. I was at the traffic lights listening to this, throwing my fist in the air. People were looking at me. Uh, you've got to have this one on maximum volume, that's for sure. In fact, that's exactly how you should listen to the entire album. All right, this is definitely coma inducing metal, coma inducing breakdowns, putrid death metal. What more do you want? The entire soundscape, the vibe of this album is repugnantly heavy. Surprising twists, interesting avenues just give it a real impulsive feel at times so you don't know where the track's gonna go. And uh, as I said, put it up so fucking loud and just blow your head off with this. You deserve to. What a time to be alive. Holy motherfuckers, you guys have raised the bar for 2021, let me tell you. Uh, this is on Bandcamp, guys. Go and have a listen, grab yourself a copy. I know some of my awesome friends who actually do watch my stories and listen to my recommendations have already jumped onto this and you know who you are, so thank you so much for supporting the bands. And to werewolves, I've already said this again on my story. Get absolutely fucked with this. This is an absolutely deadly album and it has just blown me away. So thank you so much for the metal. I'm Kelly T. This has been my Black Metal Reviews. If you do like these reviews, please follow us on YouTube. Hit subscribe. Tap those notifications so you don't miss these album reviews every single week. And of course, we're on Facebook and on Instagram. Instagram.